Hey everybody, this is a video introducing abstraction. Abstraction is a technique used when identifying similar patterns in programs and writing these patterns in a way that can be used in many different ways. It prevents having to keep rewriting similar code as well. Let's work through some examples of abstracting functions. We will be working with a list of number. Let's design two functions, one called add one to every num that adds one to every number in a list of number, and one called add 10 to every num that adds 10 to every number in a list of number. Following the first step of the abstraction design recipe, we will write the required functions following the design recipe. Let's start with the function add one to every num. Here are the signature, purpose, and examples. Let's use a template for a list of number which I've put under the data definition. I have a previous video describing templates for lists. Let's copy and paste this template and change the name. Based on our first example, if the given list is empty, we return empty, so we know how to fill out the first case. In the cons case, we wish to return the list with one added to each of the numbers. Let's use the function add one to add one to the first of the list. We know that add one to every num should return the rest of the list with one added to each element. Thus, to return a list with the first increased by one and the rest increased by one, we use cons and our tests pass. Let's move on to the function add 10 to every num. Here's the signature, purpose, and examples. Again, let's copy and paste the template from before and change the name. Based on our first example again, when the given list is empty, we return empty, so we know how to fill out the first case. Since we are adding 10 to every number in the list, Let's add 10 to the first of the list using plus and 10. Finally, we wish to return a list with 10 added to every number. Add 10 to every num will return the rest with 10 added to each number. Thus, we just combine the increased first and rest with cons. And our tests pass. Let's move on to the second step of the abstraction design recipe. We want to make these required functions as similar as possible. These two functions, add one to every num and add 10 to every num, are very similar because we use the same template for both. However, add one to every num uses the function add one, whereas add 10 to every num uses plus and 10. There is no built in add 10 function, so let's change the add one to every num to use plus and one instead of add one. Our tests still pass. Now that we have made these functions as similar as possible, let's move on to the third step of the abstraction design recipe. To circle the differences between the two functions. Placing these functions above each other, we can of course see that the names differ slightly. We can see that the empty case and the cond is exactly the same. The cons case is also almost exactly the same, except a different number is added to the first of the list. Finding this difference, let's move on to the fourth step of the abstraction design recipe. We want to make these circle differences from before input into the abstracted function. What does this mean exactly? Let's say that instead of having a function that adds one to every number in a list of number, and another that adds 10 to every number in a list of number, we had a function that takes a number, the difference we spotted between the two functions, and adds it to every element in the list. Let's call this function add n to every num. We start with the signature, purpose, and examples. We copy and paste the template from before and change the name. We know based on examples that we return empty when the list is empty. Now we know we have to use plus to add n to the first and combine this modified number with the modified rest of the list with cons and our tests pass. This is our abstracted function. As you can tell, our examples from before are the same examples used when defining add one to every num and add 10 to every num. This leads us to the final step of the abstraction design recipe. We want to rewrite the original functions using our abstracted function. 
Let's revisit add one to every num. We want to add one to every number in a list of numbers. We can use add n to every number in the body of the function, passing one to be the n added to every number. And our tests still pass. Similarly, we can use add n to every num in the body of add 10 to every num, passing 10 to be the n added to every number. And our tests still pass. Notice how much the size of our previous functions decreased. Now we can define something like add 5 to every num with ease. All you have to do is use the abstracted function add n to every num, pass it 5 in the list of number, and the tests pass. This abstracted function makes it easier to define our previous functions and define new ones without having to rewrite the same code over and over again. I hope this video helped and until next time.